South Korea's Supreme Court finalized a ruling in favor of the antitrust regulator's record fine of $760.8 million imposed in 2016 on U.S. chipmaker Qualcomm for unfair business practices. The fine was imposed by the Fair Trade Commission which concluded in December 2016 that Qualcomm and its two affiliates breached South Korea's competition law by refusing to offer licenses to chipset manufacturers and demanding high fees for patents used by smartphone makers. The agency had accused Qualcomm of abusing its dominant position in mobile communication markets. The Supreme Court ruled that Google must disclose the list of personal information it has shared with third parties, including United States intelligence. In 2014, Four South Korean activists filed a lawsuit against the global tech giant and its local affiliate, Google Korea, demanding to know whether their personal information had been shared with a third party. Under South Korean law, online service providers must respond to a customer's request to disclose any record of their personal data being shared with a third party. South Korea plans to conduct radiation exposure tests on 89 North Korean defectors who hailed from areas near the North's Pungi re-nuclear testing site. According to Seoul's Unification Ministry, the radiation testing will be carried out starting in May for six months on North Korean defectors who had lived in Kilju County and its neighboring areas and escaped the North after its first nuclear test in 2006. The North's Pungi re-nuclear test site is located in Kilju County. The secretive regime has conducted all six of its nuclear tests at the site. 